if you're looking for some ways of leveling up your old bread or you wanted to bloom up your old bread, you must try these three common toasted bread recipes that so easy, simple, and cheap way to do. We're going to do the French toast, the garlic toast, and the butter toast. I know that it sounds common, but trust me, it's all worth it. Let's get started. So let's start by making our French toasts. Though it does seem like there's a lot of ingredients involved here, but really it isn't. It's just an ordinary baking ingredients that we need, such as butter, eggs, cinnamon powder, sugar, milk, oil, and optional Parmesan cheese. If you don't have Parmesan, you can use salt as well. So all we have to do is to combine this all together. Let's start by cracking these two eggs here. And then we're gonna beat this all together until we get a sort of like an omelette consistency and then we're gonna pour in some milk, a few pinches of cinnamon, a few tablespoons of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Now it's time to add in your parmesan as well if you prefer to do so. So mix it thoroughly until the sugar is dissolved. Now into a hat pan, we're gonna pour in some oil and a few knobs of butter. So French toast requires a lot of butter in this case, so be generous of it, okay? So once the batter has melted down, we're gonna start frying our bread. So very quickly, we're gonna dip each side of this bread into our egg wash and then put it straight into our pan. So we're gonna cook it for about 3-5 to five minutes each side on a medium heat or until we get a sort of like a dark brown color or a caramelized color uh, on the bread. So once you have that color, you can reverse it and cook the other side as well. So there you go, French toasts done. You don't need an extra effort on this. It's so easy and simple. I like the creaminess with a combination of sweetness and the buttery tastes. But what I like the most is the melt in your mouth consistency. That made my day. Alright, so let's move on to our next toast, which is the garlic bread. This one has a lesser ingredients and much easier as well compared to the french toast so all we need is butter garlic parmesan oil and parsley all we have to do is to combine this all together again and spread it into our bread now it's very important that we will start with a room temperature butter and from there we need a finely grated garlic and a finely grated parmesan cheese now once we have that we can now add in our chopped parsley as well we're gonna mix it thoroughly until it is well combined. We don't really need to add in some salt for this one, but if you want, feel free to do so. But actually, the parmesan cheese will give a little bit of saltiness into this spread, so you don't actually need that. Now, once we've mixed it thoroughly, we're gonna start spreading it into our bread and line it into our baking sheet. We're gonna bake it on a preheated oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on 180 degrees. Now, after baking it, whilst it's hot, we're gonna start grating some parmesan cheese on top of it. Now, this seems like really garlic bread. So garlicky, creamy, buttery, delicious. So now, we're gonna move on to our easiest, cheapest, and fastest way of having some toasted bread, which only requires butter sugar and oil if you're going to pan fry it now all we have to do is just combine the butter and sugar mix it thoroughly until it is well combined and then we're gonna spread it into our bread now if you're going to pan fry this we're gonna do it the same as what we did into our french toast preheated pan pour in some oil and pan fry this for about five to eight minutes but if you're going to bake it, we're going to do it the same as what we did into our garlic bread. Bake it on 180 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes in a baking sheet. So there you have it. Toasted butter bread is done. So buttery and sweet. So now that we've seen these three toasted bread recipes, if I were to choose flavor-wise, I'd go for French toast. Because obviously there's a lot of flavors in it, right? But of course, melt in your mouth. That was so heavenly for me. But when it comes to your all-time favorite, like you can have it in a breakfast, lunch, or dinner, snack, whatever you want, any time of the day, I'd go for garlic bread. But when it comes to simplicity, like you're running out of time and you just have a few ingredients, you can try the butter bread. <laughs> Nothing hard from it. So let me know what's yours. Let me know in the comment. Let me know 
in a post share it with a post and let me know what's in your mind what's your favorite and i'd be happy to hear that